seriously? Hey, hey guys, and welcome to this product review with myself, Six Plus Stevo. In this one, I will be taking a look at these rather interesting kits. This is B Bork and Orc Steady from Miniature Scenery. And uh, yes, anyone of a certain age, um, well, anyone of any age, really, everyone knows Ninja Turtles, don't they? Will remember, of course, um, Bebop and Rocksteady from uh, the Ninja Turtles, two of my favourite characters from the cartoon back in the day, have now been immortalised in these laser cut MDF kits um, in place of uh, Gorknaut and Morknaut. So, yes, these are. As I said, laser cut MDF kits, um, alternatives to GW's Gorknaut Morknaut kit. And uh, I, yeah, they're, they're just, I'm very interested to see these things and get these built and uh, take a look at what they look like because they they look really, really cool. Um, you can see um, they come with various different accessories and optional extras that you can purchase. Um, so they've got like, 3D print files for upgrades available online, which is a nice little touch. Um, and I'm loving this. I don't know if you can see this on camera. Let me get one of them closer here. Let's take a look at one closer. So this one is the Orc Steady one. Um, so he is the Gorkonaut. Um, and look, comes with Nike trainers, man. Nike trainers, how cool is that? Um, it's saying that it's got posability and stuff. It's got all the same weapon options and things. And... Uh, yeah, it just looks really interesting. Now, I've had a lot of MDF kits, um, scenery kits and stuff, of which these guys produce a lot of really cool stuff. Um, I've never used um, any MDF kits as miniatures before. So this is going to be really interesting, because I don't know what I think of that as a concept. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, we're, we're going to take a look in this review. Um, but let's uh, take a look at the other one as well. There he is. B Bork. This is the Morkonaut one. Also comes with the same trainers and things. Um, and again, a load of uh, there's the company there, miniaturescenery.com. So get yourselves over there, check out the site. Like I said, they've got a load of scenery kits as well as these. But uh, let's get one of these open. Uh, let's go for Bork Steady because he was always my favourite character. I remember back in the day, I had the uh, from the '90s cartoon. I had the action figure of um, Rock Steady. The rhino, he was always my favourite. But let's uh, get this thing open and see what you get inside. It's got that smell to it, that uh, sort of mm, woodworking shop smell. Oh, we've got some bits coming out there. What have we got there? We've got some cocktail sticks in there. Another stick, be used for some sort of parts. Some nice glyphs and bits. Don't know if they're optional extras or compulsory bits, I'm not sure. Nothing on the back there. It says the instructions are online, so um, I imagine I'm going to need them because this looks fairly detailed. There are a lot of parts, all numbered, at least some of them are. Gears and wheels and pulleys and stuff. These parts look like his uh, claw of gork or possibly mork. Saw blades on it. Looks pretty cool. Um, it's quite nicely um, written out. We've got the belly section here, so it's clearly marked out what bits are what. Scale-wise, it looks on par with the gork knot. It'll be interesting. Um, I'm going to get, as the video goes on, guys, comes with the base as well, which is cool. Um yeah interesting stuff i'm gonna i've got a gw gorknaut so we might do once i've built this up might do a little comparison and sort of put them side by side and see how they compare uh leg right and left leg so it's quite clearly marked out which looks good um, but i think i will look take a look at the online instructions for this um it comes in four sheets of mdf like so um and, uh, well, four and a bit. And these cocktail stick stuff, I have no idea what these bits are for. But uh, I imagine they're quite important. 
But yes, uh, okay guys, well, I'm going to take these kits away. Anyway, I'm going to get building and uh, in the next part of the video, we'll take a look at them built and uh, I'll share my thoughts with you. Okay, so since the weather was so nice today, I decided to take the guys outside in the sunshine to show you them. Um, so yeah, here you go. Um, these took a little while to build, I'm not going to lie. These were these are extensive, intricate kits with loads of parts. Um, the first one, Orc Steady, took me two days to build. Um, the second one, though, having experienced the first one, um, I did a bit quicker and did in one day. And that's this guy here that you're seeing me turn around now. This is B-Bork. And as you can see, guys, these kits, I am massively, massively impressed with them. You can see that there's a bit of posability in the waist. Um, I've got him swiveling there. Now, there is further posability if you want it. You can have posability on the arms, the head, the belly part can open up, just like on a GW Gorkonaut. I decided not to do that. I glued them all shut and glued them into place. Um, I just wanted it more stable. Um, I may do that with the waist section as well. I just wanted to leave that for now just to show you the posability of them. But as you can see here, look, B-Bork, he just looks incredible. I can't believe some of the detail and stuff. You can see like the cardboard bits. There's a couple of little cardboard bits on his head and stuff. Um, same with Orc Steady here. There's a couple of bits like the shoulder pads there are cardboard. And there's a few little cardboard bits. Not many though. Um, Orc Steady. Now this one, this is the first one I built. Like I said, he took me a couple of days. Um, his gun in particular took a fair bit of work. Um, but I think it was kind of the lack of experience of having built a kit quite like this before as well. So like I say, once I got onto B-Borg, got built a lot quicker. But I mean, look at the detail here. It's so impressive how they get the gun barrels and the saw blades and everything. His face looks so mean and aggressive. I think he's my favourite one of the two. But uh, I'm a little bit biased because Orc Steady was always my favourite character from Ninja Turtles anyway. Um, yeah, I just think they're fantastic kits. Um, I wasn't really sold... On the idea i'll be honest with you guys on mdf kits as miniatures this is the first time i've ever used them or built them um i think i might be converted um it works and here you go here is a gw gorkonaut just for size comparison just to show you the scale and everything so um move him here next to the other gorkonaut and as you can see size wise they're actually a little bit bigger just a little bit um, but definitely on par. People can tell what they are. They look incredible. They really do. The price of these guys is 78 Australian dollars. So like I say, it's an Australian website, um, which I don't know the exchange rate currency. <laughs> change, you know, uh, you'll have to have a look at that for yourselves. If you go over on their website, miniaturescenery.com, guys. Miniaturescenery.com. And uh, not just do they only have these two amazing kits they have lots of other orc vehicles um, some really good stuff on there terrain um, gaming accessories really really good stuff also while we're on it um, i know i showed it at the beginning of this video on the packaging but you can um, buy parts um, 3d printed resin parts for these to upgrade these even further i'll show those on screen now so yeah, this is a small selection. Um, this is one part you can buy. These only cost four Australian dollars. Um, and here's some parts here for B Bork. Um, B Bork, B, yeah, B Bork. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting tongue twisted here. But yeah, you can see. So you've got some parts like the. Um, so you've got the custom force field bit and the generator and stuff and his faceplate and the jaws. So you do have some bits in there to add some sort of more detailed bits in there if you want to. This is the worky bits that are on screen now. He also has options to buy the shooty bits. And so does Orc Steady. He's also got worky bits and shooty bits, all priced at four Australian dollars. <clears throat> Which, I've got to say, is an absolute bargain. Um, and a nice little upgrade. And uh, just to show you those upgrades in effect... On a painted miniature, I took this image from their website of a complete Orc Steady. And uh, prepare yourselves to be very impressed, guys. So here you go, guys. Here he is, painted up in all his glory. Orc Steady here, um, with the optional 3D printed parts added. And I'm sure you'll agree, he looks stunning. Um, I 
got this image off their website, uh, miniaturescenery.com. Go check it out, guys. Um, this has just made me want to paint mine up. I think paint it up, you're really hard pushed to actually tell that this is an MDF kit rather than a plastic or a resin kit. I think once painted up, they would tie in with the rest of your Orc army really well and your other vehicles and stuff, and even your other Gorkonauts and Morkonauts. Um, and just have something really quite special looking. I, I, I've been blown away by these. I really have. And I think they've sort of converted me into the viability of using MDF kits as actual miniatures rather than just scenery. Um, it's definitely opened my eyes, actually. They've been great fun to build. Um, challenging, yes, but fun. And uh, they really hold up. And I think they look the absolute business. So, yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed, guys. But anyway, there you go. There is my review of Bebork and Orksteady from MiniatureScenery.com. Guys, please share your comments and thoughts down below. What do you think of these kits? Um, do you like the idea of using MDF kits in your army? Um, do you like the idea of these guys and the sort of Ninja Turtle-inspired theme with them? Um Share your comments down below and uh, be sure to go over and check out miniaturescenery.com because not only do they have these two awesome miniatures, but like I said, they've got tons of other orc vehicles, um, gaming accessories um, and some stunning scenery. Some stunning scenery, which I might add, will be making an appearance on the channel very soon because um, I do have some of that that will be coming up for review any day now. But for now, guys, this is 6 Plus Stevo, signing out.